Warning. All displays of negativity will be deliciously repackaged and properly returned to sender. Only good vibes allowed beyond this point. Now if you're ready, come on in. What's going on, Champagne Gang? Fierce fam, confidant. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Sip, Savor, and Spill, where we sip on the drama, savor the excitement, and spill the secrets on all things celebrity, reality, TV, yada, yada, yada. You already know. <laughs> so let's get ready to get into it because today I have a question for you guys and that question is are these celebrities getting too sensitive that's my question and I want you to drop in the comments and let me know what you think because in my opinion I think they are we have celebrities suing bloggers left and right for things that they are saying in the blog in the gossip sections of social media and my question would be are the celebrities getting too sensitive or do you think the bloggers are doing too much let's get into it so y'all listen I haven't really been doing as many videos on this channel as I used to if you look on my page you'll see I have like a hundred and sixty nine video <laughs> all done created and edited by me but I also have another channel that's devoted to nothing but murder mystery theater it's told in the tone of an old Poirot, Alfred Hitchcock with suspenseful music in the background and the sound of rain. It's really like an old murder mystery theater and it only deals with like unknown and unsolved cases from in the past. So I've really been working on building that channel back up and that channel takes a whole lot more work because I have to make sure I have all of the information correct regarding the crime, regarding the case, regarding the suspects and all of that. So tonight I actually have a new show dropping on that channel and it has to do with the Black Dahlia. So if any of my champagne gang, fierce fam, confidants, our murder mystery enthusiasts, head on over to Inky Noir Champagne Mysteries and subscribe. I'm really trying to blow up that channel because once I get it blown up, get monetized, get um, faithful supporters and subscribers over there and get money coming in on that channel, I want to start doing some murder mystery dinner theaters and all of that. So I have big plans in store for that channel as well as for this one. So trying to navigate, running two channels and getting the stories and recording the stories and recording the videos for two channels is insane but I got this <laughs> so go over there support it check it out so now that we've gotten that out the way let's get back to today's story so what made me think about this is a, f a few months ago when I first started my channel in like January um I started hearing about the lawsuit between Cardi B and Tasha K and it had me confused as to why a celebrity with the statue the money and fame such as Cardi B would be paying attention to what a simple blogger was saying about her then we continued and I noticed that there was was a lawsuit between Nicki Minaj and Nosy Hola about a statement that Nosy made on her channel. Then we continued and I saw Kevin Hart with the same attempt to punish Tasha K for an interview that she did on her channel. And it made me start to think about something. Are these celebrities getting way too sensitive? Because at your level of fame and fortune, at your statue, why would you speak? Why would you waste your time and your money suing a blogger for their opinion? And the reason this kind of got to me and made me think is because when you listen to the rap music, are not they doing the same thing to each other in the music? I have heard some of the most vile statements come out in rap music music that rappers have said against each other and they aren't suing each other for statements that are made in their song. So why is it we're taking out the time to sue gossip bloggers for statements that are made on their platform? So do you think the bloggers are doing too much? Or do you think celebrities now feel that they are above reproach? Mm -hmm. It's cool when I do, but it's a problem when you do it. 
As rappers, right, we have heard rappers send threats, borderline death threats to individuals through music. Can we sit back and say because it's music, it's acceptable? Should we sit back and say because it's music, it's acceptable? Or should rap artists be held accountable for what they say in music as well? This is why I say in the world today, we have a double standard. It's cool when you do it, but it's a problem when I do it. Do I think bloggers ought to be more sensitive about what they say on their platform? Yeah, I do. I can say that. If you want to have an opinion by some about someone, then yes, you should say, this is my opinion. But to adamantly say something about someone without proof, yes, I believe that's wrong. But still, at the end of the day, they do it to each other. So do you think this is a situation of money versus money versus money versus no money? Do you think the celebrities are coming at bloggers because they know the bloggers don't have the means to adequately defend themselves against celebrities with endless resources and money to back them? The highest paid attorney. Do you think the lawsuits are even fair when you're going up against someone who cannot stand up to you in a court of law because they don't have the means that you have? So do you guys just think this is celebrities' attempt to exert their power over those who don't agree with them? That's the question. And if so, what is that saying about the nature of celebrities that we have today? Maybe that they're immature, they're childish, they're petty, and they're mentally unstable. Could that be it? Because on top of the lawsuits, celebrities are consistently going back and forth with people in the comments, consistently responding to negative remarks in the comments. But why? Shouldn't you be at a level where you're above that? So why are you taking out the time to respond to it? At some point, shouldn't you reach a level where the negativity should no longer affect you because you're too busy to be paying attention to it? One thing that I say and will continue to say, you never see Beyonce responding to the negativity you never see Beyonce going back and forth with bloggers and hell there's been plenty of stories done on Beyonce about her wanting to be white about her bleaching her skin about she needs to stay away from country music Beyonce still continues to do her she's not going to diminish her product by responding to someone that's not on her level which is smart for her brand because there's no way for you to tarnish your brand when you're not responding to negativity in a way that could tarnish your brand? Or is it just that the celebrities are feeding into the toxicity of the world who they know like drama? So in the lawsuit with Nicki Minaj against Nosy Hall, she sued her for calling her a cokehead in a video that she posted on social media. And it was noted that she was suing her over a statement that Nosy made saying that she's shoving all this cocaine, shoving in all this cocaine up her nose, allegedly. Um, then continued on to say, but we all know it's true. Fuck, listen, I can't even say allegedly with that because I, we all know it's true. I'm not saying allegedly on that Nicki Minaj is a cokehead. But then in response, according to TMZ, Nicki Minaj came out and said that Nosy was a nobody whose main accomplishments in life have been a string of criminal charges, bail jumping, and bad debt. Press pause. Because wouldn't that be the same thing that she's accusing Nosy of doing? Defamation. To adamantly tell the world that somebody is a nobody because she's not on your level? This is what I mean by the double standard. And this is why I'm asking, are celebrities purposely targeting individuals that they feel like are not on their level and cannot stand up to them in court? Because if you have millions of dollars and you have a whole team of lawyers behind you and I don't have nearly that much and can only get the lawyer that I can afford, how am I going to defend myself against your charges? I'm starting to feel like celebrities are pulling power play against individuals who they feel like they can beat. Because if she was really a nobody, why are you even wasting your time investing in a lawsuit against her if she's a nobody? You would ignore her and everything that she's doing and saying, right? Because she's a nobody. In your words, is this not defamation of character to call someone a nobody and to turn around and say that they haven't accomplished anything in life except criminal charges, bail jumping, and bad debt? Whether or not that's true or not, the fact of the matter is you just diminished an individual to nothing but bad decisions. And we all know that bad decisions do not define the character of a person. It's what you do after those bad decisions. 
that defines the character of a person. So what's going on with today's celebrities? Because not only are they attacking individuals with lawsuits, but they're also sending their fandom after individuals as well. You have the Barb's, you have Cardi Squad. All of the celebrities have a select group of fans that are completely sold out to these individuals. And they back anything that these individuals do, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And so you have a lot of celebrities who are weaponizing their fans against individuals who don't agree with them. So now what will happen if the bloggers start to flip the script and start to sue celebrities for the actions of their fandom? Then what? Would that be justified? The same way it seems to be justified for the celebrities to sue, to sue bloggers? Here's the thing, right? And I'm going to be imp impartial and deal with it from both sides. As a celebrity, the simple fact that you're a celebrity means that you're in the spotlight, which means when you step into the spotlight, you open yourself up to the opinions of other people. But opinions should not be attacked. Just because I don't like you, just because I don't agree with you, does not give me the right to attack you. However, on the flip side, if we want to look at it that way, then the celebrity, the rap artists, have to stop attacking each other when they don't like, agree with, or feel threatened by each other. You can have a problem with it when the bloggers do it, but not have a problem when you do it to each other. Because see, in the rap game, if you start throwing out lawsuits and things like that in rap, then you're seen as soft because it comes with the territory. So how is it not viewed the same way when you have rap artists and celebrities going against bloggers for what they choose to say? Now that's one way to look at it. Now on the flip side, if we're going to call ourselves borderline journalists because we're recording on celebrities, Celebrities. we're reporting on celebrities then at some point we have to make sure that the information that we're releasing to the people is factual and not based on our opinion unless we're going to open up and say this is my opinion if it's satire then you have to be able to back up the fact that it's satire not that you're just going on a smear campaign or jumping on a hate train for someone that you don't like now there have been times where I've looked at Nicki Minaj and I've watched some of her lives and sat back and said, is she okay? Somebody needs to go check on Nicki because even though I know Nicki is goofy and Nicki can be over the top, there's some behavior that she exhibits where I say, you know what? This is not her. Something is wrong, but you're never going to see me come out and say, oh, I think she's on coke. I think she's on crack. I think she's sniffing something because I don't know that to be true so I'm not going to report it. On the flip side, I have looked at videos from Cardi and I love me some Cardi, don't get me wrong, but I've looked at videos from Cardi and I said she's doing too much. Why is she taking out the time to respond? Why is she cussing out her fans? Why is she on social media so much? Because you know, given the line of work that you're in, people are going to have opinions about it. They're going to have opinions about your attire. They're going to have opinions about the music. They're going to have opinions about the lyrics. Because that's what you put it out there for. You put it out there so people can have opinions about it. So to go on a whole rant and rave about people's opinions about what you put out can be a problem. Because to me, it lets me know that you're invested in the wrong thing. And it really lets me know how unprepared so many of us are to step into the limelight and to become celebrities. Why don't celebrities, when they see that they're reaching a level of stardom, sit down and talk to a life coach, talk to a therapist, to make sure that you're completely ready for what you're getting ready to step into because a lot of them are not and you can see it in the way they respond and in the way they react. Kevin Hart should be focused on writing his next comedy sketch, starring in his next movie. Why is he spending so much time worried about what a blogger has to say about him? Or trying to keep information from coming out because of something that you did in the dark that's now coming to light. This is what your PR teams and your managerial staff should be in charge of. Making sure that they're letting you know to make sure that you keep your nose clean and your pants zipped up. Because when you're in the limelight, everything that you do is on front street so that means you have to be careful what you do and what you say so you don't tarnish your brand but with celebrity comes power and I'm mighty afraid that too many people are abusing their power in the name of celebrity because with these lawsuits have had any merit have they just been regular individuals on the street now as far as I know T.S. Madison hasn't filed a lawsuit against anyone but I have T.S. Madison picture here because 
the level that T.S. is at, she shouldn't have any time to respond to any haters or bloggers or anything anyone says about her because she should be spending time building herself up and building up her community. We don't realize how much detriment sometimes we do to ourselves when we take the time out to respond. My mom always told me only a hit dog hollers. So could it potentially be that the reason so many celebrities are hollering is because they're truly being hit? But isn't that the whole point of a gossip column or a gossip blog? To talk about stuff that you don't necessarily know if it's true? You're just gossiping and talking about it? My problem with gossip is when gossip turns hurtful and hateful. Then it becomes a problem. If we're all in it to have fun and to gossip about some of the stuff that's going on with the celebrities, okay, fine and dandy. Let's have fun doing it. But when you specifically target for the purpose of causing harm or pain, because let's just throw that out the window. The sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never hurt me. Words do hurt. Words can crush. And what we have to realize is even as celebrities, they have feelings. They're not untouchable. I sometimes stop and think about or sometimes wonder, do we stop and think about how we would feel if the tables were flipped and we were in that position? Will we want things in our personal lives to come out the way we so adamantly spew them out about celebrities? That's where my problem with it comes in at. When you make it personal, when you start attacking an individual personally, it is an issue. It's a problem and it needs to be fixed and corrected. Look, we got enough hate in the world. We got enough negativity going on in the world. At what point is someone going to make the stance and say, let's start doing it right? Gossip channels should be fun. They shouldn't be hurtful. Celebrities should be perfecting their craft not trying to destroy someone else's. Is there a way to have a happy medium between the two? Drop in the comments and let me know what you think about this. This just a quick little things that make you say, hmm. <laughs> so drop in the comments and let me think, let me know what you think. Do you think celebrities are too sensitive? Do you think bloggers are doing too much? Or do you think it's a combination of the both? Drop in the comments and let me know. Hit that like button. Consider becoming a confidant. Joining the Champagne Gang and the Fizz fam. Hit that subscribe button. And if you're not sure just yet, don't worry about it. We'll leave the light on for you. Thank you for joining me for another segment of Sip, Savor, and Spill. <laughs> Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we jump back into whichever sector we jump into for another show. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if you are a murder mystery connoisseur, why don't you head on over to Inky Noir Champagne Mysteries and hit that like and subscribe button so you'll catch the show that's dropping tonight and you'll catch any other shows that we have getting ready to be released. Until next time, see you soon. Now check out this trailer.